In this video, we're going to give a brief introduction to what is a digital twin and how it helps to improve the performance of physical assets and systems. A good definition of digital twin comes from Dr. Adam Rashid from AWS, Amazon Web Services. He defines the digital twin as a living digital representation of a physical system that is dynamically updated. And the ultimate goal of the digital twin is to drive business outcome. Adam, Adam has an excellent um, series of digital twin blog articles that you can find by searching for them online. So a digital twin solution can be applied to, for example, entire oil and gas rig. It can be applied to an entire plant, but it also can be applied to a single equipment or instrument. Um, so the size of the digital twin is not you know, what defines it, but rather, its mission is to drive business outcome for whatever it, it, it's used to, to model. So the three common types of business outcome are on the operational side, performance side, and business side. On the operational side, you get real-time visibility into your physical asset and systems. You want it to prevent failures of your system and improve the efficiency if it's manufacturing and uh, typically is real time or near real time type of in the intelligence required in operational. Uh, on the performance side, what it is, is improving the performance of your personnel. Um, by using data, you can guide your personnel to be more efficient, to be better at what they do, to reduce errors. Um, so that's performance intelligence. And on the BI side, it's about making decisions in asset management, product planning, uh, budget planning. Uh, very often, uh, digital twins can create new business models uh, for your business. So that's BI. Um, so those are the those are the three important out business outcomes of of digital twin solutions. This sh picture shows a architecture of a typical digital twin solution where you would have as inputs data coming from your machines, from your operational software, from sensors, from work logbooks, and other data sources. And at the center of a digital twin is something called a digital uh, data engine. The data engine would be able to take all this data, clean, clean them, fuse them, analyze them, and produce insights that's displayed in either a dashboard, or a web application for the end user to use. Then end, end users can be operational on the operational team, IT team, uh, or even, even the executive team. And often when people talk about digital twin, people think about those very nice looking uh, 3D models. 3D models are awesome, but they're not essential. What's essential is a very easy way for the end user to absorb the uh, insights coming out of the data. And along with the digital twin solution, there's pretty much always a data warehouse, data lake, where possibly both the raw data and the processed output data get stored in there and used in the um, business uh, intelligence analysis. And this is the structure of the data engine. The data engine is able to collect data from, you know, uh, whatever sources uh, that's needed and clean the data, validate the data, contextualize the data. And the next step is data fusion, which is very critical because in order to make the best decisions, you often don't work with a single stream of data. You work with multiple streams, but those data are not time aligned or logic aligned. So you have to align them. And sometimes that's tricky you have to do that very well. And the next step is data analytics, right? You can apply different type of models, physics models, AI models. You can apply real-time analysis, batch analysis. The goal is to come out with what we call events. The events are not the final insights, insights you deliver to the user, but instead they're almost like the fundamental units of insights. So each event is something that has happened and you, you wanted to get to the root cause of the event through your data fusion, data analytics. And then 
you would have all the events that's extracted out. Now, those events can be very easily used in BI software, and they can be very easily analyzed using traditional um, uh, analytics techniques um, in BI. So, so the data engine basically goes from raw, operational, time series type of data into events, which fits into the modern data um, stack and can be easily used in analysis. We've already talked about the outcomes of a digital twin solution in terms of operational performance and business intelligence. Um, another thing I wanna show is something from one of our customers and I think is really describes what they want out of a digital twin system very, very well. So on the surface, a digital twin system allows you to monitor equipment health, right? You want it to extend equipment performance you wanted to reduce the downtime. Um, and, but below the surface, really there are many more problems that data-driven uh, digital twin solutions can solve for you. Obviously today, every company is facing talent shortage. And by using data properly, you can guide your, um, your uh, employees to, uh, to, to, do, to, to do better in their job. And then there's also the supply chain side, right? So how do we plan for supply chain, especially in this environment today? Um, you can use data-driven decisions to help you to do that. So ultimately, this is another representation of sort of the operational in, uh, performance um, and business um, intelligence that you can get out of digital twin solutions coming from a customer. This slide also comes from a customer. Is about you know a solution requirement they would like to have uh, for digital twin. You want contextualized data. You want you know data insights. You want it to be able, be able to visualize and use that data by the end user. You want it to be automatic, right? Um, it wants to, it, the the monitoring is automatic. Um, creating insights is automatic, and creating meaningful insights, right? It's very important because very often, you know, the problem is there's too much data. So you wanted to be able to, you know, provide a small number of very meaningful insights um, to the users. And you want a system to scale because, you know, most of today's large companies do not have just one site. They have hundreds of sites um, globally. So you want the solution to very easily scale. And finally, you know, the innovation culture is very important. And, you know, you can drive the innovation. The solution needs to continuously to improve. Um, and, and improve uh, fast, you know, in a flexible way, uh, the solution architecture needs to be able to support that. So that's the requirement of a typical digital twin solution. Um, so this video is a very short introduction. Uh, we'll welcome any questions. And if you have um, additional features, additional topics you'd like us to cover, um, please uh, let us know. Thank you.